This is the technological externality model, where we have a top tier of the market who are the people who basically demand the latest and greatest new technologies. They're willing to pay quite a bit for those technologies, and the innovators and the marketers tend to focus on this top tier, the people who will pay the most. But once those technologies actually exist, after a while, um, they can get cheaper, and the second tier of the market would pay a little bit for it, but not as much. So if you look at the rate of change of improvement in technologies over time, in the long run, the rate of improvement of technologies will be the same for the top tier people, the second tier people, the third tier people, um, except there's just going to be a little bit of a lag between these two groups. And why this is an externality model is because the market might not exist if you didn't have this top tier of people who were willing to pay the high prices for the technology. Like the benefit that trickles down to the second tier and the third tier, that would disappear if the top tier did not exist. So let's just go through this model. Here you have versions of the computer that are getting better and better and better, 1995, 1998, 2001. And if the improvement in quality between 95 and 98 for the top tier is 3%, and if the next tier consumers who, who buy the product when the price drops in three years, if they have that three-year lag, then the improvement in technology between 1998 and 2001 will also be 3%. It'll just match the initial improvement. If the improvement between 98 and 2001 for the top tier is 8%, that improvement will be experienced by the second tier in between 2001 and 2003 and the improvement in their technology, and so on and so forth. So the existence of this technological frontier is going to move through the population and it's an externality because these people would never receive that technology if this group did not demand it. And the reason the pace of improvement is the same is we might imagine if we had different percentages moving forward, say, 20 years or 50 years, here we have 3%, 8%, 5% improvement, you just continue that forward. This second tier group is going to have... Um, have a rate of improvement that is kind of asymptoting exactly toward the rate of improvement for the top group. And same with the third tier, they're just two units behind. So the more uh, the more years you add to that end of this, the closer these three groups are going to be in terms of how fast their experience of improvement in technology is in practice.